Hey there gang and welcome to your very first Svelte for Beginners tutorial. Now just really quickly before I start the tutorial, for those of you who want to support the channel and officially join the gang, then you can do by clicking this join button right here. It's just 99 pence or cents per month and you get these cool little loyalty badges next to your name in the comments down below. And if you're watching a video, which I'm guessing you are doing because I'm speaking to you right now, then you can also click on this join button right here below the video that does exactly the same thing. Cool, so now that's out of the way, let's talk a little bit about Svelte. Okay then, so what is Svelte? Well, Svelte is a compiler for creating reactive web apps and interfaces. And we can use Svelte to control just certain parts or sections of a site, or we can use it to create an entire website, which is typically called a single page application or SPA for short. Now, I've highlighted this reactive word right here because I just want to explain a little bit about what I mean by this. So, by reactive, I mean that if we have data or state in our web app that we then show to the user in a browser, then we want to react to changes in the data or state by reflecting that change in the browser instantly. Okay, so that's what reactive means. We react to data changes. And Svelte helps us to create these reactive web apps. And I suppose in that regard, it's similar to frameworks or libraries like Vue and React because they also have this reactive approach. It's in the name React for a start. They react to data changes and update those in the browser so that a user can see those changes. Now, although we have these similarities, there are differences between Svelte and React and Vue and other things like Angular. And that is primarily because Svelte is actually a compiler and it's not a framework and there is a difference. So Svelte compiles your code for production at build time into a single vanilla JavaScript bundle. And then that's the only thing we deploy with our website to control the website, okay? We don't then deploy the Svelte library like we would with React or Vue. We just deployed this one single JavaScript file. And for that reason, it results in a very speedy or fast website. Now, Vue and React, they also compile our code at build time for production. However, they also ship with the bundle, either the Vue library or the React library, so that in the browser, that library does the work with the compiled code as well. Now, Svelte doesn't do that. It just ships that one bundle, not a Svelte library as well. So essentially what it does is take out all of the work that things like React and Vue do in the browser, and it puts that into the compile stage instead. So it results in a smaller bundle and oftentimes a faster running website. Now, that is not to say that it's better than other frameworks or libraries. It just uses a different approach and it doesn't actually come with all of the out of the box features that you might find with something like Vue. And it also doesn't have the big community around it at the minute that Vue or Angular or React has as well. But it is really interesting, it's fun to code with and it's definitely worth considering. Now, before you jump into the course, I would advise you there are a few things you should know first of all. Firstly, HTML and CSS because at the end of the day we're creating websites and this is how websites are made. So if you don't understand that, this is definitely not the place to start your front end web development journey. Definitely check out my crash course in HTML and CSS first of all, the link is going to be down below. Secondly, you should also have a good grasp of JavaScript because that is what we're going to be using to create our Svelte code at the end of the day. So if you want to learn about that, I've got a modern JavaScript course here on YouTube and Udemy. Both links are going to be down below as well. And finally, you should have Node.js version 8 or above installed on your computer. You don't need to know a thing about Node or how it works. You just need this installed on your computer. Now, to get that, just go to the Node website and click on the download button, walk through the installation steps, and you should be fine. So in the first half of this series, we're going to be learning all about the basics of Svelte. But once we know that, we're going to build a little project which is going to look something like this from scratch. So it's just a little site that lists polls where users can vote called Poll Ninja. So we have current votes right here and we can vote on those and we can see that these little bars animate nicely as we do that. We can also add new polls. So for example, do you like Marmite? Um, we can do answer a value 
hell yeah, and nah, submit poll. And now we can see that poll right here. Do you like Marmite? If we vote, this still works like so. So we can also delete these. So if I delete this right here, we get some nice animations. So everything else moves into place. And yeah, that's what we're going to be building in the second half of this course. You're also going to need a text editor, obviously, for this course. The one I'm going with is Visual Studio Code because it's really nice, it's free, and there's also a package that I've installed, which I'm going to show you right here, which is going to be useful for this course, called Svelte. So just go to your packages right here, search for Svelte, and it's this one right here. Just install that. That's going to give us some syntax highlighting for our Svelte components in the future, so I would highly recommend this in VS Code. And finally, because I'm a super ninja, I've created course files for every single lesson in this series. You can find them right here at the Svelte Tutorial GitHub repository. The link is going to be right down below. And because each lesson has different code, I've created a different branch for each lesson. So for example, if you want to see the code for lesson 10, you'd select lesson 10 from the branch dropdown, and all of that code is going to be right here. So there we go, my friends. That is your introduction to Svelte. I really, really, really hope you enjoy this series. And my friends, if you do enjoy these videos that are put out, please do not forget to share, subscribe, and like. That really means a lot. And if you want to join the cause, you can do by clicking this join button right here. It's just 99 pence or cents per month. And you get these cool little ninja badges next to your name in the comments down below. So thanks for watching and in the next video we'll create a Svelte app.